Welcome Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpion. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's check out what is going on in this week. This week is the week of the 10th until the 16th. Okay. All right. Um, let's get in this. So a lot of you are dealing with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man. Whoever this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man is, I see information is coming out. So here we have the energy of um, the High Princess, um, some sort of an information. This is judgment, judgment. So um, there are now recognizing something. So if we look at the cross before we begin, the cross is that uh, um, a whole lot of you, um, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups, some sort of a new love is going to be coming up. So a lot of you, new love is coming in, okay? And there you can see um, someone who is offering you some sort of a new love. And this person um, could be someone who you have known from a past life. Now, there is a lot of majors uh, on, uh, um, that is in um, your week. And as we um, look at this cross, uh, um, new love is going to be coming in to some of you. And it's coming from a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn man. This man is 50 years and older. Whoever this man is, uh, I see that this week is going to be centered around a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn man. Some of you, you could have been in a relationship with this person. And I see this person is wondering if, um, you know, you want to move on with them. Okay. Uh, I see this person is really consider, uh, considering asking you if you are open to have some sort of a relationship with them. Whether it's your father, whether it's um, your husband, whether it's someone you were seeing, this is an older person. However, this older person is, is open for some sort of a um, new relationship um, in your world. Okay, so be aware of this. Now, what is uh, actually in the star of this man is that uh, the energy of the devil, whatever this man had tried to do, um, this man could have um, two, two um, young kids, and these two young kids, this one is a Aries, the Aries Sagittarian um, a young man. This is an, um, a, a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn um, young man. Um, these are two young men. And this these two young men, there is some sort of a negative energy um, that was with these two young men. And it's as if the energy from... Um, what was transpiring because this person, this person is an older person um, and this Taurus Virgo Capricorn person was had, had done something that was not right. Okay, it's as if this person have some sort of a negative energy or create something negative. Okay, the center of this week, whoever this man is and whatever is transpiring I see truth is going to be revealed over this man. And I see this man is thinking about um, balancing out some sort of a relationship with you, um, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpion people, okay? Um, so a lot of you are dealing with a older Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man. It's not really showing up for who this person is, but I see that... Uh, a lot of you are going to be making some sort of a decision um, about this person and who is this person and what is happening and transpiring around this person. So it could be your father, a whole lot of you, it could be your father and you want to build some sort of a relationship. Um, you want to reconnect with your father because if you notice the energy of the chariot is that um, if you are a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person and you're the child, you want to build some sort of a open communication with this person is this person is open for it then we see the energy of the wheel of fortune and um, the energy of debt so it's as if a lot of you recognize some sort of a situation is transpiring where 
your father um have end either some sort of a communication with you and you want to open up this communication with your father so if your father is a taurus virgo or capricorn person i see a lot of you are going to be having some sort of issues the center of this week because a lot of you are having some sort of an issue because of uh, um there was some sort of an influence um around this man and this man is coming up as a father for most of you and and for some of you as a partner okay and once this man is a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn person, a whole lot of you are going to be having issues with this person. Um, so be aware of this. And it's a it's, it's major situation because we have the Wheel of Fortune. That means it is a karmatic issue um, with some sort of a problem um, from the past. And uh, for some of, uh, some of you... It is a a problem where um, you're recognizing an end is coming in because you recognize that this man has been lying to you. So um, this man, um, some sort of an end is coming in because you're going to be recognizing this man has not spoken the truth to you. And I see this man is in some sort of a hardship. Or this man could have created some sort of a hardship for some of you because this man had not spoken the truth um, to you. And th this is the reason why you're dealing with some sort of a hardship. And some of you, it could be your father that you're recognizing that there was some sort of a miscommunication or a big blatantly that this person had lied to you. And I see that had created a whole lot of problem. All right. Some of you. This is your partner and the wheel of fortune is bringing back this person in your world and you are, you have to make some sort of a decision whether or not you want to be with this person. Um, and you are going to be making that decision and bringing an end to this situation because it's as if, uh, you know, you and this person have been going, 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 going the rings and, um, it's as if you and this person is on a karma wheel. And I see here you're open for some sort of a balance and ending some sort of a negative influence um, that has been transpired. So let's say that you are um, seeing someone, you have a common law relationship with this man. This man has two kids, and Aries, they are Sagittarian and a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And here you're recognizing that these two persons have created a whole lot of problem. And it affects the relationship of you and this man. And I see this man wants some sort of a new start. Um, and uh, the relationship has been very, very rocky. But I see that this man wants to balance this relationship. Because here it is. This man still has some sort of a love for you. And they want... And, the, and it's not over. It's not over. If you notice this man... The love that this man shared for you, it's not over. And I see that this man is going to be open up uh, to um, move on with the relationship and create some sort of a new start uh, um, in this relationship, okay? So be aware of this. As we look in the cross, some of you are dealing with a young uh, lady. A whole lot of kids came up. Uh, um, uh, a whole lot of kids came up and, uh, we have uh, the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn kids. We have the Aries, the Earth, Sagittarian kids, Taurus, Virgo, and Earth sign kids. We have them both male and female is here. Um, and we have the Aries, the Earth, Sagittarian kid. Um, we have also, um, the young you young people uh, are going to be recognizing a whole lot of um, lies um, and you know you young people are going to be recognizing and seeing and, and, and the light is going to be shedding on a whole lot of uh, information that you were not aware of. So this week is centered over the eye princess which is uh, um, 
your guidance and angel, your eye of wisdom and knowledge in a female form, and uh, the male eye of princess. So um, you women and you men, you're in a light. Your eye self is going to be coming up for the women on Tuesday, for the men on Sunday. Okay? So these two are um, a couple. And they are your higher guides, okay? So you have the masculine, feminine, higher guides coming in in this week, which is very, very important, okay? And this is about the intuition, but it's also about secrecy of people. And it has to do with a young male and female Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. If you notice these two, it's as if these two had created some sort of a problem and these two were trying to do something for Aries, Leo, or Sagittarian, but it's not going to be working out because people are now recognizing um, the secrecy of this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarian person and how this person had gotten some sort of a contract in the beginning. And they're going to be recognizing that this young person have some sort of a, um, a connection. It could be the side piece chick. That this man, this Aries Leo Sagittarian person is a side piece chick of this man. And this man was trying to get some sort of a travel documents and they recognize the lies and deceptiveness that this person is not this man shall. That is uh, um, that an Aries Leo Sagittarian person is not um, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man shall. It is a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person. So what is happening is as if you young scorpions in the weekend is going to be recognizing a whole lot of lies that was stole. And I see that this is going to be hard for you young scorpions. You can see it in the weekend because the light is now shed on something that was happening, something that you were connected through it. And you young um, a, a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion person, lights is now shed. And especially you young men, young men in the weekend, you're going to be receiving some sort of information that you were not aware of, okay? And it's going to be affecting the Scorpion people. And I see hardship because it's as if uh, something comes out now that you're finding out the real truth of a situation and what has been happening and transpiring, okay? Then we see whoever this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is. Um, this person is between the ages of 18 and 50. A tower moment came down for this person. They recognize this person's secrets um, of the past. This is a karmatic uh, situation that some of you have been dealing with a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. A tower moment. They recognize this person had a lot of secrets, uh, a lot of secrets from the past. And they're now recognizing who this person is and the secrets of the past. So if you recognize this person has to pay back a whole lot of money. And what you're recognizing is that a tower moment is coming down because they recognize that this person had a whole lot of secrets. Okay. And um, the information is now coming out and they are going to be recognizing that this young person had worked with this young uh um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man to give this Aries Leo or Sagittarian person some sort of a new start in the past because if you notice all of this is in the past but the end is coming in because they're going to be cancelling that contract uh, that they have created on the false pretend so the secrets uh, is now coming to an end because the tower moment if you recognize the tower moment is in the miracle where they're now going back and recognizing data and information that this um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man was the one that had co-create with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn woman to give a Aries the or a Sagittarian some sort of a new start, but it's not going to be happening um, because they have done it in the past and it's as if this person, they recognize now that these two had collaborated to give this person some sort of a um new start but this new start is not going to be happening because they recognize that some sort of a contract that was created was created on lies and deceptiveness and it is now coming all out 
and the energy of the devil is down. And it's something that the stories where Greg Capricorn man has done. And it has to do with some sort of a contract that they had created for this Aries the or fire sign person. It's, people are going to be canceling the contract because they recognize the, can, the contract was uh, created on false height. Uh, and the energy of the two of cups is that they're ending, uh, ending this uh, um, deceptive play because this is the energy of the devil. And it has to do with this um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man. This is a young person. Tower moment is coming down on this young person. Tower moment is coming down on this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. And the end is going to be coming up uh, for a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. And the air is there, Sagittarian. An end is here um, for these two uh, person. So it could be two friends. It could be um two people that uh, tried to create some sort of a contract in the past people recognize that the contract was based on lies and their secret is as if three people had collaborated together whether they were family members or however they are have uh, the connection it is a young taurus or a capricorn person male female and a Aries Leo or Sagittarian person. And this young man is in some serious trouble because they recognize that this young man had created some sort of a false contract. Okay. Um, it is coming up as a Virgo young man. They're not recognizing what a um a Virgo young man have done. Okay. Then as we um look forward, we see some sort of a karmatic uh, um, um, situation where uh, things was held from you. Uh, no? I see um, it's as if you've, your father and your partner have some sort of a karmatic relationship going off, uh, on. And, and the energy of that, it is not really ended. Um, you can work on this, but there has been uh, um, some sort of a problem. So some of you... Um, obviously, your father is a Virgo. Oh, some of you, obviously, your father is a Virgo. You want to reconnect with your father who is a Virgo. Okay? There was some sort of a problem that was created by um, your husband or wife or your kids. And you're trying to reorganize, rebalance, and open up the community channel. Because if you notice, the love isn't ended because this father really love you this uh, virgo father really loves you but a cycle is not yet ended so you can heal the situation and try to get some sort of a new start so if you notice the cycle the problem that was happening um doesn't end the relationship so there is uh, a chance that some of you can regain balance uh, and work on this relationship okay so do not give up hope on your father with a relationship maybe this person is not communicating give them some time um and to resolve this so again a lot of you wanted some sort of a transition to come up a lot of you are dealing with some sort of an emotional uh issues emotional situation um, a lot of you are going to be recognizing what friends have done to you and a lot of you are going to be taking it very hard, taking it to heart. And uh, I see the energy of the magician is opening up and said, hey, you need to work on um, whatever has transpired because it is hard, but you need to work on it in order to gain some sort of a balance and move forward. Uh, all is not lost. It's as if they're saying all is not lost, okay? And uh, there is still a chance to work on uh, some sort of a relationship because now you have now received information and recognize that uh, there was a whole lot of disturbingness. There was a whole lot of lies and deceptiveness and um, a lot of you young Scorpions is going to be recognizing something about your father, okay? And it has to do with some of you Scorpions. If you notice, you're going to be ending some sort of a secrecy because you recognize that your father 
have um try um in the past there was some so, something that your father have done and now you're going to be learning of what your father have done okay so if your father is a Taurus is a Capricorn a lot of you are going to be um, learning of something what your father have done it's as if uh, your father made the wrong decision in the in the past okay a lot of you are going to be recognizing your father in the past made some sort of a wrong decision and uh, as your father is a uh, Capricorn or a Virgo you're having some sort of a karmatic issue some sort of a karmatic situation to resolve and a lot of you Scorpions, especially Scorpions who have a Capricorn father, the relationship is not, um, it's not ended. But I see that you Scorpion are, are very upset to some sort of a decision that your father had made in the past. Whatever the decision your father had made in the past, um, you are now very upset because you're learning of the truth. And you're recognizing that your father is the one that have created all of uh, the issues. It is as if it, your father's uh, problem, uh, an issue is affecting you. Okay. So um, that is what we're recognizing now. Um, and, and understanding that uh, the, the sins of the fathers, it, it, it is... Uh, a week where we have the energy of the sins of the father and the energy of the sins of the father is that a lot of you who had Virgo father, uh, Capricorn father, their sins you are now paying for. Okay. And it is sad, but it is what it is. So a lot of Scorpion young men, especially Scorpion young men, you're going to be having a whole lot of issues you're going to be dealing with a whole lot of issues a whole lot of problems a whole lot of situation and is now going to be recognizing um that you have a uh, um creator some sort of a problem some sort of an issue um where you have a career um and got in some sort of a, a problems and issues and now you're going to be recognizing the secrets of the father um this is the mother and father the isl for the mother and father the issues the secrets of a, a father that is a, now you recognize that your father have lied to you basically and this is the reason why a lot of you scorpion young men are in some sort of a problem that decision that your father have made in the past and never told you exactly and never give you the proper information as to why he have made some sort of a decision for you. This is what is now coming out. So it's as if your father's secrets, the secrets of your father is now coming out. Okay, so it's the sins of your father, something um, that your father have done. Your father's sins is now hurting you, okay? So let's say that your father had an affair with a younger woman. That was his secrets. Uh, and in order to keep the secrets, uh, your father lied um, in order to protect uh, his secrets. But that lie let some of you young scorpion men get into now some problems and situation because it's the the yeah the part the, the secrets of the father so a lot of you young scorpion men are going to be have to be facing the truth facing the truth facing the truth and recognizing the decision that my father made was in his best interest and was not in my best interest and it is hard um but it is what you're going to be now recognizing it is a hard pill um, to swallow, but it is now what you're recognizing that, hey, um, yeah, because my father wanted to protect his secrets, I'm now, and I have gotten in issues and problems uh, that I would not have gotten in if my father had made um, another decision and made, and speak up and tell me why 
you know, the decision was made what he has made. So um, it is, um, you know, very, very serious. Um, and on Monday, I end, if some of you were dealing with a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person and an Aries Leo or Sagittarian person, uh, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, 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 young lady and a Aries Leo or Sagittarian young man, an end is coming up for these two people. So it could be some sort of an end to some sort of a conflict these two people were having. But if you notice, these two people have been working and collaborating together and an end is coming up for these two people because what they're now recognizing about these two people is that these two people had collaborated to do something and an end is coming up for these two people. Their secrets is now out and people are now recognizing some sort of a foul play. And this is like really serious stuff because it's, a, it's, it's an abrupt ending. The Six of Swords, an abrupt ending. What is going to be transparent? And a lot of you um, um, water sign people are going to be ending the communication. So maybe um, you have two kids. One is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn uh, young lady. And the other one is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarian, the boy. It could be sisters and brothers. An end is coming up for them because uh, um, you could be divorced and leaving the house, that sort of a thing. A huge tower moment is going to be coming down for a young, this person is younger than 50, okay? Um, and it is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person because their secret is now out. I see a lot of you are trying to balance out because you now recognize what this person have done. A lot of you, their secrets is now out. This is someone younger than 50. They're younger than 50. And their secrets is now out. And you're going to be recognizing that this young woman have uh, collaborated and had some sort of a secret um, that they held with a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man. So these two had collaborated um, to give this person some sort of a new start. It's going to come to an end because... People are now going to be recognizing the undesirable play of this young lady. And uh, also a tower moment is coming down on the secret. So if you're in a relationship with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn young man, a tower moment is coming down for this person also because they recognize what this person have done. Now, whoever this person is, it is coming up for some of you as a Virgo person because they recognize the secret of this Virgo person. Then we are looking at the energy of the Two of Cups. The energy of the Two of Cups is that some of you regret a situation. And why you regret the situation is that some of you could have been in a relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarian and you're finding out the secrets and recognizing that this person had an affair with an older man. And this older man have a auto... Um, a dealer or an auto garage, okay? And now you're recognizing that this young Aries Leo, a fire sign person was using you and that this older man was the one that sent you in their lives. And now what is happening and transpiring, you had no idea about the affair that this um, young Aries Leo, a Sagittarian person was having with this older man. It is not her father, uh, um, uh, or it is not his father. People are now recognizing the lies and deceptiveness of this person, and that whatever is happening, this man was collaborating with this younger Aries, the or Sagittarian man, and they're now going to be finding out that this has been going on for a very long time. So it's, it's as if they could have collaborated doing some sort of a business together. Um, and, uh, um, people are now recognizing it's not this person's father. It's as if, uh, um, they were just collaborating or using the name of this man to pretend as if they were the child because it is not their father. Okay. So, um, it is as the, uh, people are now going to be re recognizing the secrets of a Aries Lee or Sagittarian man. That this Aries Leo and Sagittarian man is connected to a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn auto dealer. Um, it could have been their, you know, this man was pretending as if it's their father, okay? And 
whoever this person is, this, this, this older man have an auto dealership and they were connecting or this older man is uh, sitting with something to do with transportation, auto dealership, travel agency, that sort of a situation or with immigration, running some sort of an immigration office or work in um, a consulate also. And they are going to be recognizing who is this Aries Leo or Sagittarian man and the connection between this Aries Leo or Sagittarian man and a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn per man. So it is a serious situation where they're going to be uncovering a whole lot of secrets and putting the puzzle together and finding out who these people are because the wheel of karma is in the center and it's about secrecy of uh, um secrecy is coming out that some of you had collaborated with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and that uh, some of you especially cancers young cancers they're going to be finding out your secrets and your secret is a connection with a older Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man this man could be in another country and uh, that you all were networking with a Virgo a Virgo young man and a tower moment is coming down for this Virgo young man and I see that uh, um Love is going to be balanced out. Um, and a lot of you are now going to be, it's as if you're getting rid of this Virgo young man. And uh, because the tower moment is coming down on this person because they find out the network and the connection. And you're going to be focusing on working on the relationship with your Virgo father. So a lot of you who was in a relationship with a Virgo, uh, a Virgo, um, they're going to be recognizing that this Virgo man had a lot of secrets, a lot of secrets and information is going to be coming out about this Virgo man and the information that is coming out about this Virgo man, I see that uh, um, you are going to be letting go of this Virgo man and uh, working on the relationship with your father because you recognize that this Virgo man um, has been doing and this Virgo man could have been having an affair or working with an Aries or Sagittarian person. So if you if you recognize here, if you were in a relationship with a Virgo man, this Virgo man was working um with this Aries or fire sign person, and an end is coming in, and a tower moment is coming down for this Virgo man, and people are going to be recognizing that this Virgo man had collaborated. This Virgo man has been. I have, I have a whole lot of secrets and has been collaborating um, with uh, a Aries Leo or Sagittarian man. And this man, um, these people of tower moment, the end, their secrets is coming to an end. And you guys are going to be choosing to rebalance the relationship with your Virgo father. So if you have a Virgo father, you're going to be recognizing that uh, if you have a Virgo father and a Virgo um, partner, um, you are going to be releasing yourself from the Virgo partner and focus on balancing out a relationship with your um, Virgo father and release yourself from the relationship with your Virgo partner. Okay, so um, these are serious, serious things that is going to be coming up. Um, for a lot of you. Then when we get to the world, I see a cycle is going to be over um, for a Capricorn man. Um, whoever this Capricorn man is, his secrets from the past has come out. And a cycle is going to be over for this Capricorn man because they're going to be recognizing um, that this Capricorn man has not spoken the truth. Okay. Whatever the Capricorn man has done, they're going to be recognizing that this Capricorn man had lied. And I see this Capricorn man as a scorpion child. And the scorpion child is going to be confronted that its father, a um, Capricorn man, had not spoken the truth. And now he's going to be finding out the truth. 
of what has happened between this man and his mother. He's going to be now finding out the truth. They're going to be sitting down and telling this young Scorpion the truth about um, his Capricorn father. That his Capricorn father um, hides his own um, demon, hides his own truth in order to protect himself and made decision for a Scorpion son that was not the right decision, Okay. So I see a whole lot of transition is coming up emotionally. A scorpion needs to rebalance their emotion. Hardship is here for this young scorpion man because uh, he recognized something, something about traveling, some sort of an information about traveling. Um, a cycle is there, but the cycle is not over. Um, this person can um, still travel. It's as if he's a... Uh, wondering whether or not he should um travel leave and go because he recognized that his father has not spoken the truth so it's a serious serious situation and a lot of you young scorpion men are going to be having um it's as if uh, um your higher self is going to be awakening you and said hey um your father your father made the decision because your father was trying to protect himself and make the decision um, in order to protect himself, but it has not tell you the truth. Uh, it's not something about, it could be something of how you get to a place that your father made the decision um, based on his own um, ego, but not thinking about the consequences in the future. And now it's as if you demand to know the truth of what transpired. You demand, it's as if you scorpion men said, no, I need to know the truth. And light is going to be shedding because someone uh, is going to be coming in that you respect and said, listen, you know, your mom is worried about you. And uh, uh, your father's never told you um, what really had happened and transpired. And um, this is what happened. This is the truth. This is the information. This is the truth. And that is what is going to be hitting you in the face. And it's going to be affecting young scorpion men. That the truth is going to be hitting you in the face. About uh, the secrets of your father. That is affecting you. So a lot of you are dealing with uh, the sins of your father. And now a lot of you are going to be recognizing that whatever relationship, whatever issues, whatever problems you're going through is because of the energy of the sin with your father. Now, the question is that, do I love my father enough for, to recreate this balance? That is going to be the question because a lot of you um, are going to be asking yourself, you know, is the love strong enough for, that there could be some sort of a new start and it's going to be a yes. Okay. So I see, um, young Taurus Virgo Capricorn person, um, recognize that, uh, you know, people know exactly what they have done and they're wondering, is the love strong enough to keep this going? And, you know, is it possible I could get some sort of a new start? Cause this is all about, Clearing karma is between fathers, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, father, cleaning karma is between Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, husband. It is a week where it is really the sins of the father. Okay. So as we look, um, we see an end, a tower moment is coming down for a couple and cancers, um, that is connected with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn businessman, some sort of a contract that this man has created for you, Kansas, is going to be ending. A tower moment is going to be ending. Okay, this contract is going to be ending. They're recognizing that this contract was not based on reality because there was a whole lot of illusion. And uh, um, people are going to be recognizing this. So if you notice a tower moment is coming down, 
because the wheel of fortune is bringing back uh, issues and problems and it's about contracts it's about relationships uh, and a lot of you are going to be looking to balance this out and hope for some sort of a new uh, emotional balance okay you're going to be open for some sort of a new emotional balance and try to balance out uh, a situation where your husband your partner um, has created some sort of a problem and you're going to be balancing out the situation and hope to rebuild a relationship with you, you and your father. Then we see um, that uh, um, here the scorpions are the one who is going to be affected in the weekend where they get to find out the truth of their fathers and someone is going to be coming in to let them advise them of the truth of their fathers. So then some of uh, you... Um, young Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion men that had collaborated um, with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capcom businessman um, to get some, and this is a businessman in another country, another city. You're going to be recognizing that this man had lied. Okay, so if you are a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, yes, you are. Um, if you're between the ages of 18 and 19 and, and 50, um, it is a situation where, yeah, if you said you're 40, you do business, you had some sort of a contract with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man. This man is in an auto dealership. This man does something with auto dealership, okay? Um, you're going to be recognized the lies and deceptiveness of this man. You're really going to be finding out the truth of who this man is, okay? And I see it's not too late to get out of this contract or get out because a lot of you young Pisces, Cancer, Scorpions, men could have been under some sort of a control from a Virgo businessman or a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn businessman who is in auto dealership. You are, you was under some sort of a control of this man because this man use you basically and lie to you and a lot of you young men especially young entrepreneur is going to be finding out the dishonorable um situation how you got in um some sort of an unhealthy business deal with a taurus Virgo, or a capricorn man okay this this man has something to do with a car dealership or auto dealership but it has something to do with um, this person could have sell, sold you a car and the car is not is not good. Okay, there are some there's a whole lot of issues, a whole lot of problem with this car. This car is not driving. If you notice, uh, it's not driving. And this man could be a, a car dealership and sell you something that was uh, not good. Some sort of a contract. This man could have controlled a lot of you Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person with some sort of a contract. Uh, and controlled you by holding you in some sort of a contract that was based on lies and deceptiveness. See, the energy of the Ten of Swords. And it's as if uh, they're going to be now releasing you. Releasing you. They're now going to be releasing you because it's as if people are recognizing that this uh, contract and whatever this man says uh, is not based on reality. Okay? And they're going to be releasing you. Then we see that an Aries, Leo, a Sagittarian man together with a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn man has been working together and creating some sort of an illusionary situation. And this is negative forces, but it's on the you now. So whoever that was connected to an Aries, Leo, a Sagittarian man and a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person, these two people was, uh, was the energy of uh, negative forces. So, and a balance is now going to be coming in because they have recognized uh, some sort of uh, travel information, documentation, a car and data that is uh, backing up some sort of a situation. And they're now recognizing and seeing the truth of what was happening. So if you recognize these two people, an Aries Lee or a Sagittarian man, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person, Together with the energy of this negative forces, these two were negatively controlling a situation. And now 
balance is now finally going to be coming in. And I see that uh, whatever they were doing, they were creating issues, problems. So people are now recognizing who is this Aries Leo or Sagittarius person. And I see the, the this honorable play of the Taurus Virgo and Capricorn man is now coming out. Okay, this person is younger than fifty, and they're going to be recognizing that it's, it's, it's as if they were either selling um, something with fast car, selling travel documentation, falsifying travel documentation, that sort of a thing. And people are not going to be recognizing. So all of this is going to be coming out because it's in your foundation um, where a lot of you, and especially people who are in car dealership or travel, anything to do with travel, immigration, naturalization, deans, that sort of a thing, they're going to be recognizing that these two people have been selling travel documents. They have collaborated together and they um, access data and information of people and was selling travel documents and data. And the truth is going to be coming out. And some of you young Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion men is going to be recognizing the foul play of these two and what these two have done. And somehow some of you are going to be recognizing that these two have access data and information and now recognize basically that these two people were the people that was uh, affecting you, some sort of an outside influence where these two people have affected you in such a way, okay? And whoever the Taurus Virgo Capricorn person is, and collaborated, these three have collaborated because now you're recognizing that whoever this Aries, the Aries, such a person is, had collaborated with the uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person, which, which uh, and is coming into whatever they were doing. Because whatever they were doing, their secrets is now out. And they were trying to influence a situation. And now their secrets are out. A tower moment is coming down. The Wheel of Fortune is showing up a whole lot of stuff that is going to be creating um, a tower moment or a ripple of effect that balances out a whole lot of problems that a whole lot of you have been having. A whole lot of you, if you're interested in working on a relationship with your father, it's not too late. Go for it. I see a whole lot of you are going to be finding out something about a new love. And some of you, whoever you are, especially with this new love, because this week is about new love, but this new love with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person, you're going to be finding out a whole lot of stuff about this person. And it's the decision whether or not you're going to be moving forward with this person a cycle is as is, is, uh, is now um is as if the cycle is not yet over because uh, um a whole lot of information came out um you scorpion young men are going to be recognized that you were stabbed in the back so scorpion young men you're really going to be recognized that you were stabbed in the back because now information is going to be coming out a lot of you are going to be trying to balance your emotional self, especially um, Scorpion, young men. Whatever you're going to be finding out, you're going to be finding out that you were lied to. And it has to do with lied to by your father. That your father have never ever told you the reason why he made a decision in the past. And I see that is going to be very hard because you're now going to be finding out the truth that your father made a decision that was not based on um, the reality of what uh, um, should have happened. The decision before you in the past is affecting you now in the future. Okay. I do love you guys. I gotta go. Namaste.